protecting yourself and the art of edification. What is edification? Edification is learning how to speak highly about someone or something. In this particular sense, is speaking about yourself. So as a public speaker or a presenter, whenever you're given an opportunity to speak in front of a crowd, whether it's a smaller crowd, a bigger crowd, you want to be able to know first how to present yourself. Often enough, when people do come and they're presenting themselves, you also don't want to come up as someone who is too pretentious, but you also don't want to be demeaning yourself. People have confused being confident with yourself with being cocky, but at the same time, it's not that you know you have to put yourself down so that you can be able to relate to people. So how do you balance the two? How do you present and speak highly about yourself without coming off as being arrogant? Here are three tips that I can help you. One of the first thing is not to lie. Whenever you're speaking about yourself and speaking maybe about the accomplishment you have done, you wanna make sure that you do not lie or exaggerate any particular point. You don't have to pretend or make things up. So you have to be proud of the things you've done. Make sure you don't lie because once you lie, it creates any type of distrust with people. Today we live in a world where people can fact check people much quicker than people actually realize. So you might say something in a particular area, people will be like, well, I'm not sure if you've really done that. The moment you create doubts in people's mind about your person, your character, that's gonna create already a distrust between you and your audience. So you can speak highly about yourself, make sure it's all true. That creates a good trust, a good bond between you and your audience and you can easily receive your message. Number two, don't portray yourself as being perfect. Often enough, sometimes us speakers, because you're presenting an information where you might be an expert in, or you're presenting an information where you might have more knowledge than the people to whom you're presenting it to, don't present yourself as being perfect. You may not know all the answers, you may not, you may not know exactly everything about the, the subject, you may be an expert in a particular area, but it doesn't mean that you're a perfect individual. Often enough, I've seen some presenter being condescending to the audience saying you guys are not even worthy to listen to what I'm talking about oh man this is too smart it's too high level for you guys I've heard speakers literally I was in the audience and I heard a speaker sit down one time and I was like whoa uh, it, it might they may not respond to it but often enough once you say that you already make people feel uneasy uncomfortable so don't uh, pretend to be perfect or anything like that that's gonna be able to help you lastly no one is a deity, meaning no one is God. And this is in correlation with the last one that we just talked about being perfect. A lot of the time people put themselves in a place like they're some kind of God-like person or God-like uh, individual or whatever, where they can make no mistakes, where everything they say should be taken as God's word or anything like that. So you wanna be making sure that uh, you don't fall into these traps that sometimes presenters we can feel tempted to do so. Even if you know what you're saying is correct, you know what you're saying is right and will be helpful to someone, don't put yourself in a place where people, you're basically saying that you're a God to these individuals. So these three tips can help you because I believe it's very important that you have the confidence, that you have the skills, that you can present the information and what that's why you're in front. Maybe you're invited to tell your story, maybe you're presenting information, maybe you, you're talking to peers and colleagues, uh, maybe you, you're talking to so your employers, you wanna make sure in this particular sense that you're presenting the stuff in a manner where you're not lying, you're not presenting yourself as being perfect, or don't make yourself into a god. I think these three things will help you to be an effective presenter when you're presenting yourself at the beginning before going on with your message.